What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Think Time. Today we'll be working on the RFC, doing a little upgrading. Uh, in the build up video you see that I already went to the Pro Taper bars. I just put those on initially when I first assembled the bike. Um, also, the must have star cross tires that I put on there. So uh, those are two upgrades I've already done today. Uh, I noticed that uh, the car, the stock carburetor only has one clip position on the needle to set the height. So um, it's running really lean right now, and that's kind of dangerous. So uh, I got a, another carburetor. So I got picked that up with the air filter. Uh, so this has our adjustable uh, clip needle in here. So we we'll get our gain our adjustments back there. I did have the bowl off already to kind of just see what jets were in it and uh, there's no numbers on the jets so I did get a picture of them so I can go online and buy maybe like an assortment so I can just throw some in there and go from there so that might be what we have to end up doing if this thing don't work straight out of the box so um, I have a feeling that the air box will have to come out of this to make room for the air filter um, so we might be doing that I just won't know until I get in there so um, one thing to make this carburetor work we, that we have to buy is the uh, adapter here. This is a Nibby adapter that goes to our, from our intake to accept the carburetor here. Um, the standard carburetor has a flange on it with two bolt holes in it, so it won't just bolt straight up, so we have to get this adapter. Um, but let's get in there and see what it's going to take to make this thing work. Alright, I don't think there's any way that this carburetor will fit with this stock air box. After the adapter's on, you can see right here, that's how much room's left for the carburetor. So this box has gotta go. After you pull the rear plastics off, it's pretty much just one bolt holding us in, and then our breather hose that plugs into the top of that. So we'll go ahead and pull this air box out. All right, air box is out. That opens up a lot more room for that carburetor. We can take our slide in, our slide and slide it into the top of the carburetor. Don't force it. The slide can only get, go in one way, and you shouldn't have to compress the spring to get the cap on. There's a large slot and a thin slot on that slide, and the larger one goes right in line with your idle screw. These. So if you don't know which way it goes, just rotate it while it's sitting there and it should just fall right where it needs to go. Alright, now that we got the uh, carburetor in the boot there, we can go ahead and tighten up our clamp front. Now we can put our air filter on. I'm not going to oil this one yet. I want to see if this thing's even going to work before we oil it because that oil can get very messy to, to deal with if you're in here changing the filter out and stuff. So. I'll wait to see if the thing's even going to work first before I oil it. Turn our fuel on. Check for leaks. I'm going to use this hose. I used my old drain hose that was on the bike previously. And I'm going to use this one as our overflow. Our, our vent, I mean. Uh, and it just plugs into the top, the higher port on the side and we'll run this back here and there's another port here that goes right to the intake I'm just going to cap that off for now because I don't know what that is so I'll put a cap on that so this thing's ready should be ready to fire up I am going to go ahead and do one thing One nice advantage to this carburetor is that your air screw is no longer on the bottom. It's just right here, it's very accessible. So I want to count my turns, see what I'm at. One and three quarter. I'm going to start at one and a half. Let's see where that gets us. 
So first thing I'm going to look for when this spike starts up is uh, if it's revving up really high, I'm going to take some carb cleaner and just spray it around the intake. Just to, That usually indicates there's an air leak. Um, if it has a nice idle or it won't idle, I will adjust the idle here on this screw. That's your idle screw. And we'll let it warm up if everything's good and we'll try to do some adjusting on the, uh, on the air screw. So let me pull it outside and we'll see if she runs. Okay, you've seen how immediately the idle was very high. Uh, I would, I'm willing to guess or bet that the uh, idle was just turned up too high because usually on an air leak, it really, you don't get those high RPMs until you touch the gas. So with it being initially high like that, I um, want to check a couple things that this throttle cable is not being pulled on. And we'll back that idle down a little bit. We'll see if that helps. screws do not help at all so it very well may be an air leak or a throttle cable issue I'm gonna pull the air filter off first and check from there so I'll be able to see in the back side of the carburetor and see if that slide is actually all the way down I don't know if you can see in there but this slide is not all the way down where it should be. So watch when I move this cable up here. It's actually pulling. You can actually drop it down more by just wiggling this. So I'm saying it's a throttle cable issue. So let me see if I have a spare one or if I can do any anything to reroute that throttle cable to make make this work. Okay. I was able to make an adjustment at the handlebar and uh, that gave us the extra slack we needed. So we'll see what happens when we fire it up this time. The idle's low right now, but I gotta keep gas on it. So we'll just turn it up a little bit.
we'll adjust it. I think that's the sweet spot right there. We'll uh, adjust this idle, get it back up where we want it. Now we're gonna go ride this thing to see how the uh, throttle response is. get back but uh just to see whether it's a lean bog or a rich bog but uh we'll be mess messing with the needle clip position that should take that bog out of it so we'll ride it a little bit more and uh we'll do a chop test chop test will be going full throttle and i'll cook and i'll shut the uh bike off coast it into the uh garage and look at the spark plug see what we got so I'm gonna ride it a little bit, get some color on that plug, and see what we got. Very boggy, very boggy. Especially when I'm uh, coming into a corner and I get back on it hard. We'll see if uh, a clip position changes that for us. I'm gonna do what's called a chop test right now. I'm gonna give it full throttle and uh, I'll cut the bike off, coast back into the garage. You can see the porcelain down in there is still. You can see the porcelain is still white. I'm gonna say that's a lean bog that we're having. So, what I need to do is get more fuel in there from half to three quarter throttle. So, what we'll do is we will lower the clip position on the needle. And that'll allow more fuel to come in. We'll just start with one notch, see if it gets better or worse, and we'll go from there.
Yeah, I'm gonna try lowering it one more. Let's see if that'll fix it up. If not, it's time to reject. All right, got her chain to the last setting that we can go. So, let's see what happens. All right, y'all, it's a couple days later. As you've seen, there's a slight bog uh, mid-range. Uh, so, and I also noticed that our air adjustment screw, we, to get it to the highest RPM while adjusting, I would have to back it out about three and a half turns. So you would really like to be between uh, probably half to three quarter turns from all the way seated to three turns. Uh, if you're past that to get the optimum performance there, uh, you need to rejet. So since I was three and a half turns out, I think I need to change my pilot jet. So I ordered, there's a set of five that Faster Mini sells. Um, that's really the only place I could find the uh, pilot jet. So hopefully one of these will work. These actually have numbers on it. The ones in the carburetor don't. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to kind of figure out where I'm at and which one of these is going to be the next size. Um, the main jets uh, were just from Amazon. Um, I'll put the links to both of these below. So check these out. Uh, so I'm going to pull the carburetor off the bike now and we'll get it on the bench and we'll try to figure out what jets we need. All right, we got, got the carburetor off here. I did, I was riding it in the mud, so I kind of took the air hose and just blew off all the excess dirt that I could. There's some on this hose. Just to try to avoid getting dirt in the carburetor. So I'll pop this bowl off. So since our uh, air screw is more than three turns, I'm going to go ahead and up the pilot jet one size. And since we still have a bog mid-range, <clears throat> uh, after lowering and raising the clip on the needle, I'm going to go ahead and just go up one size on both of these if I can figure out what size are in here. So I'll try to share exactly what works for me i'm in georgia right on the coastline savannah area so uh just for information we're right at sea level what i did i just blew those out so i could really see how big that hole was in there um I gotta try to think of the best way to do this. I uh, I have these welding tip cleaners here, so maybe I'll just see which one fits and which one don't, and kind of put off that. I just did confirm there is no numbers. There are no numbers on these jets, so it kind of sucks, but. I guess we'll go ahead and start with our pilot jet first. These are actually jets, so the carburetor is the VM24, but the here's the uh, information for the pilot jet. It's actually for the VM26, um, but these are the only jets that will fit. Uh, so looks like uh, tbparts.com. I ordered them from Faster Minis. So there's the part number for that. So this is our old one. Okay, so looks like in this kit we have uh, number 15, 17.5, 20, 27.5, and a 25. So 15, 17.5, 20, 25, and 27 cleaner won't even fit in here won't fit in the 15 won't fit in the 17.5 will fit in the 20 though all right i'm going to say this 15 is too small the main jet or the pilot jet out of the carburetor is bigger than the 15. i think the jet currently installed is this the 17.5 so we're going to go ahead and start with 
we need more fuel so go up with the size up and we could fit our welding tip cleaner in this one but not this one i'm going to go ahead and start with the number 20 i think i'm going to put a 20 pilot jet in all we can do is run it and see what happens all right these are our old ones i'm going to put these back in the bag so i don't get them mixed up next we'll move to the main jet uh, part number, I don't know if it matters, but we got ranged from 100 to 190, so pretty good selection here. We only got five in the last, five options in the last kit. This one gives us 10. Threads aren't the same on the main jets. Damn it. Wow, Amazon got me again. But this jet isn't going to work anyway, so. Let's see if I can, uh. Open this jet up a little bit. I mean, it's worthless anyway, right? Boom. So, here's what I did. I grabbed the 100 jet here. And this would, this is the last one that it would fit. Before my old jet, this would not fit it. And next size up is way too big. It won't even fit in the 100. That's what I did. Took my old jet and I just kind of filed it out. I mean, filed it out with this one. And before this one, the next bigger size would not fit in there, but it would fit the 100 jet. But now, this will fit my 100 jet. I think it's going to work though. At least get us closer to where we need to be. Okay, cars back together. We're going to throw it on the bike. I am going to put the clip position on the slide back to the center setting so I can adjust it up or down if I need to. So I'll do that and we'll fire it up and see what happens. All right, carbs on the bike. Um, something else I am gonna put on here, automatic. The, car the air filter that came with the carburetor uh, was just a straight and uh, there's not enough room for a straight one. So what I did, I got the angled air filter and I'm gonna kick it up because Bring it around here. It hits this bar, a straight one wheel, a uh, frame brace. So hopefully we can kick it up out of there and maybe it just like rests on the bar just a little bit, but hopefully this works. All right, that air filter fits a, a lot, a lot better in there. It's not so uh, squished up against that bar. It is laying on the bar a little bit, but it's okay. So I got the uh, slide back on the center position. Uh, we're just going to take it all back to stock and I'm going to run this. We'll count the turns all the way in just to see where I was at. But I'm going to set it around one and a half turns out. I was at three turns. I stopped at three because I didn't want to back it out on me, but uh, it could have went more when I was adjusting it. So we did change the pilot jet though, so we're going to take it back out to about one and a half turns out. All right, so. I went to the biggest jet in that pack, uh, the jet kit pack, jet kit pack, yeah, that's what I was looking for, uh, and it was 27.5, um, I'm in my range on my air screw where I want to be, so I think it's time now to take the bike out and uh, see if our ball goes away, if it's still bogging, then we'll move to our uh, needle adjustments on the clip, so let's strap up and we'll go uh, see if it's still bogging. All right, I got some old people mad at me for riding this thing around, so I just gotta take it easy. And once we get back to the dirt back there, we'll uh, open it up, look for the bog. All right, so it was real bad when I go into a corner and I hit on the gas for a more. So I'm gonna do that a couple times.
happy with that. Uh, didn't bog at all. Uh, I'm good with it. Uh, I'm going to stop there. The spark plug looks uh, tan. I'm good with it. Uh, glad that, that worked out. So really it was uh, the pilot jet went to a 27.5 and I'm about two to two and a half turns out of my air screw. That was the biggest pilot jet I had. So uh, if I wanted to, I'd probably jump up to a 30. Maybe that would do good too, just to get that idle screw or that air screw um, in more. But I'm good with it right now. It runs great. It's fast. So uh, yeah, I'm done messing with that. So that's great. That's awesome. Next, uh, or have you guys noticed that the first gear on these bikes suck? Right. I'm gonna do another upgrade. 17 tooth front sprocket. 14 tooths on it now. We'll get more out of our gears here. Uh, so let's put this on. Uh, it's from Amazon. I'll put the link below. Uh, it comes with the sprocket, the bracket, and two bolts. I'll link this so you guys don't get confused on it. Uh, it's 428 for a 428 size chain. Um, the diameter. You'll see it on the pictures on Amazon, 17 millimeter. So that's what we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and get the old one off and uh, probably have to make an adjustment to the chain. No big deal, but we'll, then we'll go back out for another ride and we'll see how uh, how much better first gear is. All right, for the sprocket chains, first thing we need to do is get the side cover off. And here's three bolts. Here's a gasket behind here. So we'll just get our 10 millimeter and back these two bolts out. This plate will have to spin and then pull out. All right, on the spro old sprocket, it does say 428, 14T. That's 14 tooth size 428. Our new one's 428, 17 tooth. Pop this thing off. Old one. All right, as you can see. We got to bring that wheel forward to get this thing to go on there. So I'm going to take a second, loosen up the rear wheel, and uh, run the adjusters in. That way it gives us some uh, slack. Right, the way I like to do it, I'll loosen up the axle, um, run the nuts on the adjusters towards the head, and I went four wrenches from the top. So from here, four times two three four on each side just kind of keep that wheel as even as i can looks like we got to go some more there we go so i'm just going to reuse this plate just so i can have an extra new one on the bench so you'll put it on and spin it to line up your bolt holes. Highly recommend the blue thread locker on this. I'm gonna follow them up just so I can I feel better about. While I'm in here, I just want to double check these uh, mag pickup bolts here. Glad I did, because they are loose. <clears throat> All right. um, something to look for, you guys couldn't see before. I was just tightening these two bolts here. Those weren't tightened all the way, so something to check out on your bike something you want to look for um see this raised portion of the flywheel here uh, that should be passing over directly over this magnetic pickup you'll see the circle on the inside of it in there uh, there's a little mag magnet on the center of that pickup 
this raised part has to be direct, directly over that little magnet. Um, I've seen it. I've actually had this happen to me. I lost spark. And this thing, I don't know how. Maybe it was, it was actually on my X18. Uh, maybe it was brand new. This had like a lot more power than as I rode it. It kind of got weaker. I don't know. But this directly wasn't in line with that race portion. And I lost spark because of it. So I had to take these bolts out, shim it out, pull the pickup out. Once I got it in line, I got my spark back. So just uh, take a look at yours and see if uh, it's lined up like it should be. So cool, we'll go ahead and put the cover back on. And we'll take this thing for a ride after I adjust the chain. All right, y'all seen in my uh, build up video, first gear on this thing was terrible. You move you about 15 feet and then you just had to shift. So uh, let's go see what the, New sprocket will do for us. First gear. Even second gear feels a lot better coming out of a corner. Uh, you ain't bogged down as much. So coming out of a corner in second gear is nice now. Let's take a couple laps. upgrades alone whole new animal uh, the front sprocket fantastic the 17 tooth front sprocket i'll link it below i'll also link the pilot jet kit that i used i'm not going to link the main jets because they didn't work but uh i'll link the air filter the carburetor pretty much everything we used here uh so you guys can do these upgrades as well i hope y'all enjoyed it be on the lookout for some more upgrade videos because they're coming at you we'll catch y'all on the next one peace